All right, part two. I don't know where this worthless phone cut off my statement, so we're out in the country here, sort of. And uh, point is, came out to listen for coyotes. As a reminder of what they sound like for the city people, for one. Though I seriously doubt any of those sort of folks bother to listen to me, other than a couple friends that are stuck there even though they don't want to be um the predators are becoming more aggressive it's not just because they've been pushed out of their habitat what are we looking like oh that street lights here maybe you want to see the stars instead <laughs> it's probably a satellite <laughs> okay um the predators are um, reacting to the solar and cosmic particles coming through Earth's magnetosphere, which is continuing to get weaker and weaker, and then through the atmosphere. And it affects mammals. It apparently affects birds and fish, obviously whales. Um, Part of the issue of the animals circling and beaching and all this and that basically getting lost or so disoriented, all they do is go in circles, including insects. Um, with ants, um, they follow pheromones left by the other ants or by the queen or whatever. It's been studied and shown that if the queen dies or something, often the ants will circle and circle. Um, but Earth's magnetic poles are going through an excursion or a reversal. And there's plenty of channels can provide much better information than I can. And I think I... No, they're in my Grand Solar Minimum playlist, some possibly. Um, when Brian Gunderson out of Alberta, Canada starts his channel, uh, Magnetic reversal news or something i will be putting them into a magnetic reversal playlist or maybe that's the name of diamond's new channel that he's had for a couple months so the animals are affected by the continuous movement of magnetic north it's throwing them off they're also uh affected by the earth's own magnetic Field, possibly also in relation <laughs> in relation to uh, the other planets and their alignments and so forth giving a pull on the earth other than what the Sun does and as you may hear um, my wonderful bird chasing cow dog has finally realized something's going on in the field and she hasn't recognized my voice yet and that's why another one of the dogs is barking also so they're finally doing their job but i guarantee if somebody strange pulled up out front or was trying to get in the yard <laughs> yeah uh i wouldn't know so would the neighbors <laughs> anyway the Predators, especially the coyotes, they're being more aggressive and less scared of people. Well, people have taken over the habitat of animals everywhere. You know, push out forests and build up homes and so forth. We've gone going through drought, so there's less food for them. There's less habitat for their prey. You know, when you wipe everything out, that is destroying habitat for rabbits and squirrel and everything else and blizzards and whatever. But that's not the only reason they're becoming more aggressive. Uh, you can see it in people too. And a lot of it in people is because of the pharmacaea sorcery serums they're taking. But... Uh, it, it's also, you know, those that don't take part in medical whatever tyrannical actions, 
will uh, are also having more headaches and you know different issues and even aggression and at the very least more irritability um, that has a lot to do with what's coming through our weak magnetosphere and hopefully I might be able to come back later and add some links to that information um, like I said um, I think Diamonds is Magnetic Reversal News his other one is Oppenheimer Ranch Project and then he's got one or two other channels um, Adapt 2030 has many Ice Age conversations also David Debine's got some pretty decent information and I think those two know each other a bit. Um, I know that Greg Allison, Rex Bear, and Lee Wilbarger all know Diamond. Um, I'm in contact with him, but I won't provide his personal <laughs> real name. Just like I have to tend to the security of my own uh, contacts. And just use the handle I was given decades ago but that's who i am anyway but hopefully that'll help and uh i guess this second part i may put in the comments of a homestead heart video and i might even put their link in the description of this in order to help folks get a better understanding of what's going because lots of people are reporting more issues with coyotes and different animals and even a raccoon that attacked a little uh, a 10 year old child uh, at the front door on their porch and uh, the mom had to uh, run out and snatch the thing up by its scruff and get it away from the little one. So um, this could also be a good reminder to have things to defend yourselves fire extinguishers for against fire but they can also work on a lot of other things house mouth bitter that's is good enough dog is shame but uh <laughs> one of them went in the dog house i heard the thump um <laughs> darn it where was i oh our god-given rights to self-defense you know, our Canadian neighbors and friends uh, are trying to have, their government's trying to take away their high caliber, high velocity arms that are used not only for hunting food, but defending against bear, moose, elk, caribou, timber wolves. You know, these critters aren't like the little coyotes and feral hogs and stuff we deal with down here that we've got to be able to defend against. You know, these things are not just for gathering food. They're for defense. Not only against people who done lost their flipping mind or are just completely evil, but creatures, you know. Yeah, we, we don't want to harm them, but... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you got to take care of business. Just like these darn poisonous snakes. They get a hoe or a boom. And now because of shooting the blasted venomous snakes, <laughs> the dog won't even bark when there's a non-venomous one trying to eat a darn frog. I got to find it myself and go deal with it. When it's in the dog's, beside the dog's water trough in its pen. It's like, come on, dummy, speak up so something can be done so you don't get bit and die while I'm at work. Suffering. Anyway, um, it is what it is. You know, that's another reason you can bring to people's attention why we have a God-given right to self-defense, why we have the tools to do it with, why they're legal according to the Constitution of these United States of America and charters and constitutions of other countries that just happen to be a bit different. Not only to explain to other people who don't understand, but in order to 
remind those who are supposedly representing us why they need to quit attempting to break the law of the land by trying to strip everything away from us, leaving us helpless against who? Well, maybe the foreign entities that they transport into this country illegally and aliens and what have you, or, or uh, maybe those people that say, oh, those aren't no good to you if you think you need to defend yourself against us. You need F-16s and nuclear weapons. Mm-hmm. And nobody realizes he said that because it's not on mainstream media or any of the other direct threats against we, the people of these United States of America. Pray for your neighbors. Look out for them. Watch your six too. Cover your cover your booty. Good night, folks.